So let's take a look at AlloyDB's column engine. The column engine's purpose is to provide extremely fast analytics queries on real-time data, real-time operational data as it's coming into your system. Quite often we get the question, well, if you can do analytics on AlloyDB, what is the difference between AlloyDB and a data warehouse product like Google Cloud's BigQuery? And the answer is the types of questions that you would ask of the data. And so what we're going to demonstrate now is the speed of AlloyDB's column engine for analytics, how much faster it is than open source databases that don't have a column engine, and how that enables those real-time decisions, and what types of questions that you would ask AlloyDB versus a data warehouse product such as BigQuery. So let's take a look. So first, I use an open source tool, free open source tool called HammerDB. Uh, that is readily available and is often used for benchmarking databases. It supports many different databases, including Oracle SQL Server. I just use the standard Postgres driver as Postgres products work perfectly well with AlloyDB. And what I did is I loaded a 100 gigabyte TPCH benchmark. I wanted enough data that the data would not be fully cached inside the virtual machine, inside of Postgres buffer cache. So this would truly demonstrate not just the value of caching, but the value of the column store in AlloyDB. And in my settings in HammerDB, I connected to the IP address that is provided by the AlloyDB instance in our cluster. I put in my user ID and password. I created a database for this data. I selected a scale factor of 100, which means 100 gigabytes and I had eight threads loading the data. It takes a few hours to load this data, but it's done automatically via the HammerDB tool. So the first thing that I will point out is by default, the column store is not enabled in an AlloyDB database instance. To enable it, you set a flag, which is called uh, Google Columnar Engine Enabled, and you set that flag to on. If you want the AlloyDB to recommend which column should be in that column store based on your workload, then set this flag, columnar engine, columnar recommendation to on. So to run queries in the AlloyDB database, I'm going to use, once again, a free open source tool called PG Admin. Very, very familiar to thousands of Postgres administrators and developers. Because AlloyDB is fully Postgres compatible, it works very, very well with AlloyDB. You can use the tools that you're already familiar with. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find out if there are any columns in the AlloyDB column store. So let me execute that query, and no, there are no columns in that store right now. Why? Because I just loaded the data, and the columnar recommendation engine has not run yet. So let me ask a question that would be typical of a real-time decision-making query that you would run on an active online sales order system. So in this particular query, I am going to ask the system about discounts. I wanna make a decision right now. Let's say it's Black Friday. That's the day after Thanksgiving in the United States. That is the biggest retail sales day of the year. And I wanna ask a question about if I increase the discount Will I sell more? I'm going to get less money per product sold, but will it my overall revenue and my margins increase? And based on that immediate information, I can make a decision about offering customers coupons or additional discounts right now while they're ordering products on the system. I don't have to download this data to some other database, some other data warehouse, and wait two days before I can ask that question. I can ask this analytical query right now in real time. I'm going to ask the question, uh, give me my total uh, line item revenue and my total order revenue. So if I give a discount to one line item, does my overall order total increase? I'm going to compare a 1% discount with a 2% discount. And I'm going to do a date range, in this case, November 26, which is Black Friday. And I'm also going to see if the next day, the Black Saturday, uh, also has a difference if I increase the discount. Well, I don't have 
uh, the column store enabled, it's not loaded. And so this is going to scan 600 million rows. It's also going to do a join of the sales order to the line item table. These are operations that are going to be extremely slow. It's gonna take so long, I'm not gonna be able to make a real time decision. And there's another problem that it's going to cause as you're gonna see in a moment. But let me go ahead and execute this query. It is running. Uh, to spare you waiting for a number of minutes, I am now going to use my video editor and cut forward to when this query completes. All right, my query is done. We can see here down at the bottom of the screen that the query took two minutes and 19 seconds to run. That is a very, very fast query for Postgres, uh, scanning 600 million rows and what, what was it, 200 million sales orders. That's because AlloyDB has multiple layers of caching in addition to the usual in-memory buffer cache. And there's caching in the intelligent storage software and there's caching in the Google Colossus storage system. So this is actually quite fast for Postgres, but doesn't really make it conducive to real-time decisions. If I wanna ask question after question after question and make real-time decisions, two and a half minutes is, is too long to wait. So let's take a look at how we load the columnar store and how the columnar store can make these queries a lot faster. So by default, the Google column recommendation engine runs once per hour. That is an interval that you can change. Now that's the recommendation engine. As data is coming into the system, as new sales orders and line items are being added by my customers, there's automatic replication of that data into the columnar store in real time. So what we'll do now is we will run the recommendation engine manually with this command shown here. All right, so that column store load command took a few minutes as this is a database with hundreds of millions of rows but is now run and you can see here at the bottom of the screen that it gives you a recommendation on the size of the column store. And it also tells you what columns it is actually put into the column store. Why did it select these particular columns such as discount, extended price, order key, return flag? It's because those are the queries that I ran against the database. The recommendation engine is monitoring all of the queries and is placing those columns based on your specific workload into the column store. Let's now take a look at what columns are now loaded in the column store. And sure enough, it's the same columns, the uh, order key, uh, ship instructions, the discount. Uh, those are the columns that I used in my queries. So those are the columns that have been loaded into the in-memory column store. Well, now let's run my query again and see what kind of performance I get. Boom, 2.5 seconds. So this went from two and a half minutes to 2.5 seconds, producing exactly the same results that the other query produced. And that's something that's very important. With AlloyDB, if you ask a question, you will always get the right answer. One question we often get is, well, this is an in-memory column store. What happens if there's more data than can fit into memory? Not a problem at all. That SSD cache, the ultra fast cache that is automatically attached to each AlloyDB instance, the column store can spill over from memory into the SSD cache if it's necessary, if the data is too large for memory. But even if the data is not in the column store, the optimizer of AlloyDB will find the data where it is, and you will see read committed or all the data that's been committed to the database. So even if the data isn't fully loaded into the column store, it will go to storage or go to other caches in order to gather up the data and give you the right answer. Well, let's take a look at what the answer is. I wanna find out how did my discounts impact my revenue? And sure enough, if I gave a 2% discount, I had about 28.5 million in revenue versus 27.9 million, a nice bump. And I could do additional queries if I want to dig further into what my margins would be, for example. And based on that, I could decide right now to offer my users as they're ordering a better or lesser discount, depending on whether I'm gonna make money on it or not. I asked another question of the data, specifically, uh, not only am I gonna look at the discounts and the date range, 
but I'm also going to see if products are being returned. This query ran in over two minutes in uh, the non-columnar store database. So let's see how fast it runs now. Boom, less than a half a second. So this is even more than 100 times faster than it is without the column store. And I can see that uh, if I give a higher discount, in this case on Black Friday, yes, the data that, or the uh, items that were returned was actually higher. So with a 1% discount, I had about 419 million in returns. And with a 2% discount, 446 million. So that would be something to keep in mind if I decide to offer a bigger discount. Well, let's do a bigger date range. Why don't we also look at not only Friday and Saturday, but Sunday. And let's take a look at how fast this query runs. Boom, 0.3 seconds. Well, that is really, really fast analytics. A half a second response time for a query that's scanning 600 million rows. And that shows you the power of the column store. One question we often get is, well, if AlloyDB is so fast with analytics, why do I need a data warehouse product like Google Cloud BigQuery? And the answer is, it depends on what kind of questions that you're asking the data. This is a typical real-time query to make real-time decisions. I am narrowing down the date range to just three days. I'm not doing a massive five-year history. I am looking at certain values in the database, in this case, a couple of different discounts. With that, the column engine can use advanced CPU instructions called SIMD or single instruction multiple data to very, very quickly filter out data and give me extremely fast performance. But if I don't have these uh, range of values or exact match searches, then if I'm scanning very, very large amounts of data, 600 million rows over five years, then you're not gonna get that kind of performance. So let's take out the date range of this particular query. I will comment it out and let's see what kind of performance that we get. So I'm just looking at the entire five year history, 600 million rows, and to see what my overall discount history is going to be. Now, as you can see, well, it's not taking a half a second, is it? It's gonna go out and it is going to have to scan vast amounts of data. This is a job for BigQuery. I want potentially petabytes of data, billions of rows of data in the database. And I wanna do very, very vast scans over a wide range of history. BigQuery is an excellent product for that. And of course, with AlloyDB being in Google Cloud, you can load the data from AlloyDB and into BigQuery and then do your big historic queries using the BigQuery product. But there's another huge advantage to AlloyDB's column store besides just fast performance. Let's go back to the Google Cloud Console and the AlloyDB monitoring dashboard. And let's take a look at the amount of CPU that is being used by the system. Remember, when we were running those queries that were not using the column store, they were massive CPU operations. Uh, over half of the CPU was used on the system, which means I was slowing down the performance of my transactions, my sales orders coming into the system. But then when I started running queries with the column store, my CPU goes down to near zero because there are far fewer CPU instructions that are required to query the column store than there are to uh, a big storage scan operation. Now, for those of you who are database developers or administrators, you may wonder, well, how do I know if this query is actually using the column store? Well, by its performance is one way you can tell, but you can get an optimizer plan with AlloyDB like you can with other databases and with other instances of Postgres. So to get an optimizer explained for the query that we ran, you click this little E button in PG Admin. There are many other ways to get an explain. And we can see down here at the bottom of the screen that we see custom scan uh, in, the, in the optimizer plan. And this is actually a columnar scan, as we can see here when we click on custom scan. But because the scan is orders of magnitude faster, the overall query is orders of magnitude faster. So thank you so much for attending this demo today. And hopefully you can see that AlloyDB provides extremely fast analytics, enabling you 
to perform real-time decisions on real-time data. Thank you.